Oh, she's super long. This one. Yeah, it's very hot. You got this, got Will you? Were they attracted to them? Come on now, we must get in our places. We're in, on the air in just a few moments. Oh, that's rather nice. But you have to put the fortress away now because we've only got a moment to get in our places. Well, pardon my correction, miss, but this is a model sterling and not a fortress. Though you might be a little confused between the two, as they are both four-engined mid-wing bombers with single fin and rudder, have a very little difference in the wingspan, that of the sterling being 99 foot 1 inch and the fortress 103 feet 9 inches. So I beg to correct you in your original statement that this was a fortress. Oh, you just say that for your Will Hay Act. Can't you ever forget your Darcy Minor? Oh, quiet now, that means us. This is Jean Metcalf speaking. We have in the studio three youngsters who are making names for themselves. First, 14-year-old Peter Katin, head choir boy at Westminster Abbey, youngest piano forty student in the Senior Royal Academy of Music, and a very promising composer. He's going to play us a prelude of his own composition. Peter. We'll be hearing more of you in the future. And now for another young man who will go a long way. John Clark, the 12-year-old schoolboy who specializes in all those long-winded words. You've heard him as Darcy Minor, the precocious pupil at Will Hayes School. Now comes his chance as an announcer. Over to John Clark, better known as Darcy Minor. After the elevating example of contemporary pianoforte composition in the classical idiom which we have just heard, we are about to experience a tintinabulation on the timpani by the expert extemporizer Victor Fellman. Victor is ten years old and is known to jazz enthusiasts as Kid Krupa. His mastery of drum technique is phenomenal. Come on, Victor, wallop those skins, tickle those tom-toms. In other words, swing it! <laughs> 